Hi, my name is Eli and I'm the author of the site html5tutorial.co.uk. Um, I'm gonna make a quick overview of the site so it's gonna be easier for you in the future to, to use it and to find what you're looking for. Let's start with uh, the top menus. As you can see, the first one is called Home and you probably know that goes to the home page of the site. Where here I've written a little bit of description for what the site is about and what's HTML and what we're gonna talk about. Here, uh, where it says tutorials, you're gonna see tutorials which are either uh, picture based or text based, which means that you will have to copy the information I've given you there or to rewrite it, I mean, whatever suits you. Sometimes there's gonna be even source files that will correspond to to some of the tutorials but it's not gonna be always like that so it's up to you what you're gonna do to rewrite them or we'll copy them uh, video uh, it's gonna be the, the video tutorials I mean as the one I'm doing at the moment so you you will be actually seeing what I'm doing and uh, as I'm doing it I'm gonna talk about it and I will tell you why I'm doing it, uh, what would happen, and will give you different values so that you can see for yourself uh, what would actually happen. As you can see here, it says um, register to read more. So yeah, that that's what I did. I I made the video tutorials to be only for registered users. Good news though is that registration is completely free. Here you click for uh, create an account, which is in the left column, and once you've clicked it, you go to a page like this where it says name, username, email, password, verify password. Once you've completed all those, uh, all those fields, you can click register and you can log into the system. The next uh, menu is called standards. Here I'm gonna have uh, tutorials or lessons or articles, whatever you call it about uh, the new standards, actually what's new in HTML5, why would it was created, uh, what's added as functions, uh, tags, elements and so on and what's been removed as well. Um, here, books, it's, uh, I made uh, simple reviews of uh, the, the most popular books uh, and the most recent ones actually about HTML5 and some of them even embed some knowledge or some explanations about CSS3 or jQuery uh, so um, because we're gonna be working closely with them and yeah the the format that I've been using is as you can see you have a table yeah when you click on one of the articles I mean the, one of the book titles you see who uh, was the, the actual title of it, who is the author, what does it look like in case you go into a bookstore and trying to find it, and uh, a little bit of description about the book itself. On the right side you see related articles which actually means that uh, that's gonna be uh, another books. I mean that's another way for you to, to get uh, to the other books without uh, going back from the back button or using the breadcrumbs which I've also activated uh, to, to make it easier for you. This here is templates and as you might guess uh, there's gonna be templates for HTML5 I mean they're built for HTML5 and they're built with those functions those uh, new things and the syntax that's going to be used in HTML5. So uh, the the layout I have in templates uh, it's the following: you have the name of the template, what does it look like, and where to download it from. So uh, you can scroll down and you'd see different templates. There are a couple of pages, so you can take a look at them. The last page, the last menu, uh, is called examples. It's uh, similar as a layout to the template ones because it says the the name of the 
the demo or the, the example that's gonna be uh, there's a screenshot and there's a brief explanation so uh, also there is a link to the page where you can actually try it live as it is the, uh, the things I've chosen for the sections are um, some applications, uh, sites built uh, with the new standards or some some kind of games or gadgets that you might be worth looking at. So let's go back to home. I mean it doesn't matter actually. I can go on from here but it's, I don't know. Um, and here there is a brief explanation well, what's the site about and as I said I'm trying to make it uh, to be as uh, big as possible uh, as a resource for HTML5 so that that's what I'm gonna do now here you have most read content and most recent content here are the, the articles that are that have been posted uh, uh, recently and uh, here it's uh, the content that has uh, the most hits. Bear in mind though that uh, that might be a little bit misleading because if uh, if for example I click uh, one of those articles I go to the article but that doesn't mean that uh, that's the, the best article in the site or that's the only articles um, that it's worth looking at. I mean it's just those that are with, uh, with the most clicks so far you're the ones who can change that. Um, on the right side here you can see that's the, the QR code of the site. Uh, for those who have smartphones you can just simply scan the code and you, it will take you to to this URL which is exactly html5tutorials.co.uk Underneath the main content I've put a poll where I'm asking you how did you hear about the site because this information is going to be very uh, useful for me as that's kind of a feedback so it, I'll be very happy if you take a second uh, and to, to vote here the, there is something called random content and this random content uh, actually shows uh, random content of the site and that's not uh, neither uh, the, the most recent one nor the the most read one. I mean, not necessarily. It might be duplicate sometimes. But every time you refresh, there's gonna be just random content. So, just kind of a guess. And uh, that's another way for you to to see that there's more happening rather than only those few things that are here. Here I have uh, activated RSS feeds, which uh, is gonna sh help you to to stay up to date and you can use it uh, with your Google uh, RSS reader or Atom or whatever reader you're using. Here I have stats uh, for how many people we have online at the current moment and yeah I mean it's it's quite impressive because it says 109 guests online which means that 109 people are looking at the site at this very moment. Bear in mind that today is uh, the 20th of February and the site was uh, published on 16th of February so that's just uh, four days ago and it's quite popular as you can see uh, CSS3 and jQuery I think that I've already mentioned about that that uh, we're gonna be working closely with uh, those two uh, so they are the new CSS, as you can see CSS3 is the new CSS whereas this is the new JavaScript and um, all, uh, all together with um, HTML5 the, they'll help you to build great applications, sites, uh, very interactive uh, stuff that, that you're gonna be enjoying. Uh, utilities menu is uh, as you can see it's about it's about me and about the site as well the contact uh, there's a simple contact form that allows you to to contact me if you if you have any question if you want to suggest something if you want to to publish something yours I mean doesn't matter if it's gonna be an article or tutorial um, an 
application kind of to promote it so whatever you you want to you can just give me a message it's not a problem I'll be happy to receive any of your messages with feedback with uh, uh, information or something like that um, there's also an option if you if you want uh, you can even contact me uh, with a question and the answer of this question I'm gonna post it on the site I mean yeah it's not like uh, how old are you or something like that but if it's something like uh, HTML5 related or something to do with coding uh, I'll be happy uh, I'll be happy to, to do that for you to, to give you the information and even if you want to I can uh, write in the site this question was asked by blah blah or or not it can be anonymous it's not a problem um, so we have an arrow here where if you click it then you go on the top of the site so which is good you don't have to scroll your simple function if you know exactly what you're looking for you can try the search which is here so let's try to search for canvas and hit the enter and um, you're gonna have results it says total 10 results found and you have the list with the results and it uh, the the keyword you look for is highlighted so that you can see what exactly it is and where it is in the content and to see how relevant uh, it's to what you're searching for exactly uh, th there is something here underneath that tells you in which section that was published uh, which might also kind of guide you to in the right direction because if you're looking for a book here it says uh, HTML standard so it's not gonna be this but here we have HTML5 books so that's that's the one you're you're gonna be wanting probably um, so those buttons here are to increase the font size as you can see and uh, also decrease it if you want to reset the values you just press the the equal sign uh, here there is open and close the, the logo of HTML5 and that that's gonna be it for now so thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you in the other tutorials okay bye bye